Hi, this is Gabe. I'm hanging out on a Saturday night, about to do my favorite thing, uh, talk about Lightly Row. Uh, <clears throat> uh, Lightly Row is a very beautiful piece unto itself, but when I first work on it, I use it as an opportunity to really start to understand the friction of the bow on the string. And this is probably one of the most important concepts of getting a good tone is friction and how it works uh, with the string. You can think about friction by uh, using an acronym that I got from my good friend Christy Felding, um, Bach. The B in Bach will stand for bow speed, the A stands for arm weight, and really if you just want to reduce it, it's whatever weight or pressure goes into the string as the bow moves. The C in Bach is for the contact point, and the H is for the hair angle. At the beginning, it's important to make sure the bow is placed right in the center lane of the string, which uh, I will call lane 3 based on uh, how Simon Fisher talks about it. And um, lane 3 is right in the center of, of the instrument, and Suzuki called it the Chrysler Highway. And he called it the Chrysler Highway because uh, one of his favorite violinists, Fritz Chrysler, um, I guess tended to play there in the center lane. Actually, there are lots of different places you can play in that in on the contact point of the violin between the bridge and the fingerboard. But for the beginning, I like to keep that contact point right in the center so you don't have to worry about anything else. So contact point. Then the speed of the bow is, is important as well. Um, now the faster you move the bow on the string, the the friction is reduced, which is counterintuitive. We think of friction, we think of speed as being something that gives you more power, and, and it does in some ways, but it's actually a friction reducer. So the faster that you play on the string, the less friction you have, so you have to change something. So since, in order, in order to uh, have enough grip on the string. So the faster that you play, the more weight or pressure that you need into the string because more pressure creates more friction. So with Lightly Row, I like to use two different speeds of bow. One is a faster speed and one is a slower speed. When you play faster, you have to sink the bow deeper into the string. And when you play slower, you have to um, make the bow lighter. <clears throat> so this is the main thing with bowing that I work on at the very beginning with Lightly Row. So in a moment I'm going to demonstrate that on my violin and I'm hoping that this will help uh, people to, to work on it. Um, for me it's the most important thing that you can work on uh, on this one particular piece. So here we go. Okay so here we are. My brilliant camera angle. I'm going to be on the A string here. Uh, sorry, I'm, I'm going to be starting on the E string here. And I'm going to place my bow in the center lane. Hopefully you can see that. As I draw a faster bow, I'm going to have to sink the bow into the string. Hopefully you can see that I'm sinking and the stick is bending. So when I draw a fast bow, I sink deep. And when I draw the bow slowly on the longer note, I play lighter. Then again, deeper. Then lighter. Heavier. Then lighter. Heavier. Lighter. Now here's what happens if I don't play lighter on the slower bows. Then I get this. Now some people might like that sound, but generally, uh, you know, their average person on the street is not going to enjoy that. 
And here's what happens if I don't play deeper on a faster bow, keeping my contact point the same. I get this hissing sound. So when I play too quickly with not enough weight, I get a hissing sound. When I play too slowly with, uh, not a, with too much weight, then I get a groaning sound. Okay, now once that's mastered, then we can add a crescendo into the piece. And the crescendo will look, will be something like this. I start with a lighter bow and less bow. And then as I, I start with a lighter bow and then less bow. And then as I add speed, I also add weight. Then I move slower. Now it's not the most musical playing, but for now, it's a very good start for this phrase. Less bow, less weight. More bow, more weight. Slow bow, light. And then we finish it off with heavy and fast. Heavy and fast, all the way through. And then slow and light. So I hope that, that that helps you a bit, and uh, those of you in my studio, if you have any questions, you can just give me a call, and uh, or you could uh, send me an email or whatever, but I hope that this helps with uh, bowing and friction in Lightly Row that will help also help your young or old student to uh, eventually be able to play very expressively without struggle.